Hi everyone, NEET PG results are out and I've been getting a lot of questions specifically about doing a diploma followed by a DNB or MD. So let me get straight into it. Let me start with why I can answer these questions. I am Dr. Priya Safde. I am a practicing pediatrician at the moment. I did my diploma in child health followed by DNB in India and which is why I can share my experience on this. So any of you who's interested, let's get into it. Should I go for a diploma or wait another year? How long does it take DNB or MD? It's easier to get into DNB, it's tougher to get out. Financial aspect. The most common question I've been getting is ki is saal mujhe diploma mil raha hai. Should I go for a diploma or wait another year and get a degree? In this, I can only advise that if it's a field that you really like, it's okay to go for a diploma. That's what personally worked for me. And then you can always build up on that either by getting an MD or a DNB. Again, you need to take your personal goals and timelines into consideration here. I did a diploma in pediatrics even when I had the availability of MS or MD in other branches at my rank. The reason being I really wanted to do pediatrics and I don't regret choosing the field even now. So that worked out for me. If you're getting a diploma in a branch that you're not comfortable with, then I would say don't go for it. It's not worth it. Second most common question and also an important factor, how long does it take for one to do a diploma followed by a DNB or MD? I'll talk about my experience. I did a diploma which was two years. Then I had a service bond which was another two years. And then I got my DNB which was two years again. So I had time to prepare during my bond for the entrance exam, the PDCET. Realistically speaking, give it one year. In exceptional cases, a person might get it straight out of diploma into DNB, but still consider a gap of about six months for the exam to be conducted and for the result to be released. You know where you stand timeline wise and you can decide for yourself better. Another question I've been getting is whether to do DNB or MD after you've done a diploma. What's the better option? Again, I'll speak about why I chose to do DNB. The reason being that the entrance exam for DNB post diploma curates the questions to your specialty that you've already studied in. If you were to do an MD, you have to give NEET PG for which you have to study all subjects. It does not take into consideration that you've done your diploma from a certain branch. I personally did not want to study all 19 subjects after doing DCH and that's why I chose to do PDCT. But there is a caveat here. It's easier to get into DNB. It's tougher to get out. I'll tell you what I mean. The passing percentages in DNB exit exams are a lot lower than MD exams. It's not impossible to pass it is possible but it might take more than one attempt realistically for even the best of students keep that in mind secondly this is a problem i have with nbe right now the last couple of years one exam session takes about six months from the first day of the exam to the final result to be out six months i'm not kidding that's just one exam session now if a person doesn't clear that exam, they have to wait another six months for the next exam to be announced and then that exam takes another six months to be conducted and for the results to be out. So the timeline for the DNB exam sessions is very stretched out and very long and maybe that is something you should take into consideration if you're worried about timeline. If you're not, it doesn't matter whether you clear DNB in your first or second or third or n number of attempts. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that you get your degree. But yes, if you are time sensitive, then maybe think about this. Then you might want to go for an MD. Another aspect I want to talk about is the financial aspect. Of course, again, this is very subjective that once you get a diploma and you're preparing for your DNB or MD, during that bridge period, be prepared to be paid a little lesser than an MD or DNB candidate. If that is something you can afford to do, then go for a diploma. But if money is important at the moment, maybe you should take that into consideration as well. So if I had to give a blanket advice based on my experience, I would say if you're getting a diploma in a branch you like, you could go for it if it aligns with your timeline and your personal goals. If it's a branch that you do not have an interest in, then just skip it. Maybe choose something else or you could give it another year. One piece of advice I can give you is that this seems like a huge decision right now and it is but this is not your entire life and I learned this quite late in my life so please enjoy the other things in life as well don't let this overtake small joys that surround you this is one part of your life it's not your entire life I hope you make the right decision that works for you and it gives you joy in the long run. So this has been my experience and this is what I could advise based on the limited knowledge I have on each one's individual expectations. If you have any questions beyond these, please feel free to comment and I will respond to every one of them. And if this was helpful, consider giving this channel a follow and subscribe. All the best.